It's true, Bob. Uh, so begotten language is, uh, that's a great question. So um, begotten is a language for a male who, um, who brings forth a child. So obviously the, the male doesn't become pregnant, but the male makes the female pregnant, she brings forth. So, so it's, a, it's a tricky thing with, with God because, um, uh, you know, if God's a male, how does he give birth? Well, he, so, but that's the idea, that he gives, gives birth. So there are lots of, uh, were you asking the Jewish tradition specifically? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it, yes, in the Jewish tradition, because, I, you know, uh, the earlier synoptic gossip, gospels would have been set general, mainly in a yeah, no, Jewish yeah, tradition. Yeah, yeah. I, what I would argue is that the synoptic gospels are influenced not only by Jewish traditions, but also by Greek and Roman traditions. I mean, the gospels are written in Greek, for example. You know, they're not written in Aramaic, the language of Palestine. They're written in Greek. And in uh, Greek and Roman circles, there was a very common idea that a god could bring forth a divine human. Uh, and so in Greek and Roman mythology, for example, sometimes a god will uh, make a woman pregnant and the child will be both human and divine. That's where Her Hercules comes from. Hercules is a divine man because uh, uh, Jupiter gets the woman pregnant and her child then is the son. And so you think, well, yeah, but you wouldn't find that in Jewish circles. Yeah, except you do. Uh, in Genesis chapter 6, for example, where the sons of God looked upon the daughters of men and saw that they were beautiful, they came down and cohabited with them and their offspring were these giants who were roaming the earth. This is, this is borrowing into that view that you have, uh, here you have heavenly beings who make an er earthly beings pregnant. And so you don't have anything quite like the begotten language in, in the first century that I know about, but it certainly stands in both the Greek and Roman and Jewish traditions at some point.